Hello friends, in this video we make ammonium iron 3 sulfate also called ferric alum. Ammonium iron 3 sulfate or ferric alum is a double salt made from iron 3 sulfate and ammonium sulfate. It forms a faint violet colored crystals with octahedral geometry. You can see the violet colored crystals on the left side and the geometry you can make out from the image on the right side. Chemicals that you need for this preparation are 22.2 grams of iron 2 sulfate, 5.2 grams of ammonium sulfate, 4 milliliters of 98% sulfuric acid and 10 milliliters of 30% hydrogen peroxide. Here I have taken all of them pre-measured. You can see the iron 2 sulfate, ammonium sulfate and the water required to dissolve them and the hydrogen peroxide and sulfuric acid. Start by dissolving the iron 2 sulfate that is ferrous sulfate in 20 milliliters of distilled water. My ferrous sulfate was freshly made one day back that is why it appears in a nice green color. Older samples often become yellowish brown due to air oxidation. Now I add 4 milliliters of concentrated 98% sulfuric acid. This would prevent the hydrolysis while dissolution. It also helps the crystals to dissolve better. I am adding the acid very slowly using a glass dropper because the addition of concentrated sulfuric acid to water is extremely exothermic even though the amount I am taking is very low, I am taking the standard precaution to avoid a splash. Now let us make ammonium sulfate solution by dissolving the ammonium sulfate in 10 ml of distilled water. Here we have the iron 2 sulfate solution. It has a nice green color to it. Now we bring 30% hydrogen peroxide and start adding it to the ferrous sulfate solution. Using a glass dropper, I am adding it very slowly. You can notice a vigorous reaction taking place and the color of the solution is turning darker and darker. Here the hydrogen peroxide oxidizes iron 2 sulfate to iron 3 sulfate that is ferric sulfate and itself get reduced to form water. Continue adding the hydrogen peroxide slowly in small lots with frequent swirling of the beaker to ensure complete reaction. Finally, we add the ammonium sulfate solution to the ferric sulfate solution. This results in the formation of the complex ammonium iron 3 sulfate. This is the balanced chemical equation for the reaction. Now we quickly filter the solution to remove any impurities if present in the solution. Then I gently heated the solution and removed around 10 to 20 milliliters of water. Then I poured everything into a crystallizing dish and allowed it to cool down undisturbed for few days. After 2 to 3 days, the crystal formation was evident with most of them being in octahedral pattern resembling the crystalline lattice of the ferric alum in theory. By 6 to 7 days, most of the crystals has formed but I still kept the container in a refrigerator for one day to ensure complete crystallization. Then I filtered the solution to obtain the crystals and I washed it with acetone. You can very well notice the faint violet color of the ferric alum here. This is actually what it says in theory. And if you use uh, an old sample of iron 2 sulfate in this preparation, you might not be getting this violet color as in theory. The final yield that I obtained was 27 grams of pure ammonium iron 3 sulfate. Now a quick note regarding its storage. This compound does not remain the same if it is kept exposed in air and it quickly turns to brown color. So if you are storing this, always store uh, in damp condition or just uh, 
dip a filter paper in the supernatant solution of the crystals and then keep that filter paper in the storage bottle along with the crystals. This will also help ensure the moistness of the compound. So yeah, that's all in this video. These are my Patreon supporters who are financially supporting me and motivating me to do more videos. You can also support me via Patreon or PayPal. The links of both of them are given in the description. And it will be very helpful for me if more patrons come into my channel and I will be able to do more videos, better videos. Thank you.